Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Tassis Kilimos. Happy to join you guys for another edition of NBA Player Prop Parlay right here on the Guy Boston Sports YouTube channel. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope your week is going well so far. Uh, before we hop into today's video, a couple things we need to cover. All right, guys, first and foremost, a big thank you yesterday was our most successful NBA Player Prop Parlay video we've ever done. Most views, most comments, most likes, most subscribers added. It was a fantastic thing to see. Uh, my goal when I started this video series a couple months ago was to hopefully one day catch up to Ev. And I think that's what kind of what Ev was expecting too, to one day catch up to his NBA Picks videos in terms of viewership. And we took a big step uh, this week in getting there. So thank you to everybody who tuned in yesterday. I know it's because we cashed big on Monday. But I hope you guys will stick around and continue to watch. I promise you guys I will win you some money. The second point is that today's video may look and feel and sound a little different. Unfortunately, if you guys didn't know, um, on top of doing Guy Boston Sports, I own my own pizza place, actually. So if you're ever in the Connecticut area uh, near the Mohegan Sun Casino, I own Great Oak Pizza. It's a family-run business. Um, been in my family for over 25 years. Um, so unfortunately, sometimes with being a boss, you've got to step in for certain things. Uh, I kind of like 50% of my staff called out today because it's a little snow here. Uh, in Connecticut today. Um, so I unfortunately do not have the time to edit and put in the music and everything to the video. So unfortunately, this will be a little bit less edited, a little less cleaned up. I apologize for that. I still am going to give you the picks. I'm going to give you all the data and everything. Just a warning because I know there's no audio. There's, I mean, in terms of music and stuff like that. I just wanted to apologize. It's not like that all the time. It's just for today. Um, unfortunately, again, just didn't have the time. Wanted to make sure I got this video out to you guys. So with that out of the way, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We got a three-leg parlay to dive into today. Let's get into it. Guys, we missed the mark yesterday. We had a three-leg parlay yesterday. The Herb Jones prop, we absolutely crushed it. Apologies to the few people in the comments. Unfortunately, again, back to the pizza place excuse for a second. Um, unfortunately, I was working. I wasn't able to see some of the comments. Evan and I both run the comments here on this on the channel. And uh, unfortunately, I couldn't see it. So I would have recommended taking the Herb Jones prop. I know the line moved to like eight and a half and nine and a half. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to tell you guys that. Apologies to those people who were commenting, asking for my advice. Um, but... That was the only prop that hit. The Jalen Williams one we missed by one. He was over 23 and a half points plus rebounds. He had 23. The Julius Randle one we were just kind of off on. And I did say in the video yesterday, it was the sweatiest of the three legs. But moving on to today's parlay, uh, we still are hitting our props at a 75% hit rate this week and 79% on the season. Just to let you guys know, if you are new here, uh, we do hit props. So first leg of our three-leg parlay, we are targeting the Charlotte Hornets-Detroit Pistons game. Kind of a crapshoot of a game. Um, it kicks off at 7 p.m. Eastern time. We're going with LaMelo Ball of the Charlotte Hornets over 25 and a half points. Going to go ahead here, guys, and kick it over to the outlier screen. I'm just going to go ahead and move my screen over so you guys can see. Again, it's a little bit of a choppy video today. Apologies. Like I said, it's not the best edited. Um, I, I promise you guys it will not be like this all the time. So first leg of our three-leg parlay. Uh, LaMelo Ball over 25 and a half points. It's a DraftKings exclusive, minus 180 odds. He is covering this in seven of his last 10 games. It's a 70% hit rate. And now he's only played 20 games this season, but he has hit this in 11 out of 20 games. It's a 55% hit rate on the year. And look, guys, I will be honest, the head-to-head -head data, not great. He's missed this the last few times they played. Um, the reason why I like this, number one, he's hitting it in seven of his last 10 games. Again, 70% hit rate. A couple factors here. And first and foremost, the defensive matchup. The Pistons are the second worst defensive team. Look at the right side of the screen here. Uh, the Pistons are the second worst team defensively in the NBA in terms of points allowed, giving up 123 points per game. You put that to the point guard position, they are bottom five, 25th, 25 point, just about 26 points per game to the opposing point guards. And if you guys watched the news yesterday, Terry Rozier obviously was traded to the Miami Heat. So that's one less option that the Hornets have. And Kyle Lowry is not playing tonight, who they just got in the trade from Miami. So no Rozier. I'm expecting LaMelo Ball will have to carry the offensive load. And against a pretty bad defensive team in Detroit, I think that LaMelo Ball will carry here. And for him to score 26 points in a bad defensive matchup, <clears throat> with obviously no Terry Rozier, so who, he was one of the better offensive players in the team. Obviously, they have no Gordon Hayward also. It's basically just LaMelo Ball and Miles Bridges is essentially what the Hornets are working with, and Brandon Miller, I, I guess, too. But mainly LaMelo Ball, he is the guy that Charlotte will look to here to provide scoring. So that's really the reason why I like this matchup here for the first leg of our three-leg parlay. And, I mean, it makes sense. Like I said, it's minus 180 for a reason. He he should be able to score 26 considering he's basically the the only guy Charlotte really has um, in, in a bad defensive matchup there uh, for the Pistons. So, moving on, second leg of our three-leg parlay. We just bet this guy yesterday, and I, maybe I'm a glutton for punishment, but I'm going with it again. We're going with the Thunder-Spurs matchup. It kicks off at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. We're going with Jalen Williams of the Thunder again 
against San Antonio over 16 and a half points. Now, yesterday we had his points plus rebounds at 23 and a half. Again, we missed it by one. He had, uh, I forget what, I think he had 19 points and four rebounds. Um, so he did miss it, but he did have 19 points, so he cashed this number. You look at here, nine of his last 10 games, he has cashed this over of 16 and a half points. And if you stretch that data to his last 20 games, he said it in 15 of his last 20 games, a 75% hit rate. And if we go ahead and put this for the season, 60% hit rate, 24 out of 40 games. So he's consistently been hitting this all year long. And like I said in yesterday's video, you see here over his last 20, 10, you know, 10, 20 games, he has really started to heat up a little bit here. So it's, it's especially a reason why I like this prop. When you look at the head-to-head -head data, he's covered it in two of the last four times they played San Antonio. The one time they played this season, he only had 11 points. But again, remember, look at where that was. He only played 23 minutes. It was early in the season before he kind of got hot here and kind of, like I said yesterday, became basically the third best player on this Thunder team. You look at the defensive matchup on the right side of the screen here. Uh, San Antonio, bottom five defensive team in the NBA, giving up over 121 points per game. Uh, to opposing teams. And so Jalen Williams can play at shooting guard and small forward. They are bottom five in points allowed to the shooting guard position, giving up just shy of 30 points per game. And they're middle of the road against a small forward, giving about 21 points per game. But overall, should be a very solid defensive match here for Jalen Williams. Again, look at that. 15 of his last 20 games, um, he has covered this number, including the last five in a row, right? So I, I really like the spot here for Jalen Williams for the second leg of our parlay. And guys, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to comment six below. I do feel bad, and I apologize to you guys that this is not the best quality in terms of I don't have the music in. I don't have the editing done correctly like I usually do. I do feel bad, but I just wanted to get this video out to you guys because I love giving you guys picks, win or lose. I see people in the comments who always see, you know, they, they hate. I see people in the comments that love. Regardless if it's hate or love, I love seeing the interaction. Yesterday was honestly one of the coolest things since I've been with the guy Boston Sports team. I've been able to see all the interaction, all the views, all the likes, subscribe, everything. So I love you guys. I want to make sure I give you guys the best, and that's why I wanted to get a video out today so you guys can get the pick so from the bottom of my heart i try here to give you guys good content um just like i know ev does the same so uh here we go third leg of our three-leg parlay we're targeting the hawks warriors game which kicks off at 10 p.m eastern time we're going with Dejounte murray of the atlanta hawks who was in our winning parlay on monday different prop but same player uh, we're going with his rebounds plus assist combo prop over 12 and a half now this is another. This one is available on Caesars and BetMGM. But as always, DraftKings is the sports book of choice, uh, not sponsored. Um, but they are. They give you the best odds. Um, so here we go. Not great, right? You look at the top. Of, whoa, you see a lot of red there. Four of his last ten games, he has failed to cover. Uh, only four of his last ten games. Excuse me, he has hit this this over. Four of his last five. Though, if you squeeze this data down just to his last five games, you'll see. He's hit in four of his last five games, including three in a row, uh, which is pretty good. In the head-to-head -head data, each of the last two times he faced off with Golden State, both of them were last season, but still, each of the last two times he faced off with Golden State, uh, he cashed this over big time. So, solid head-to-head -head data here. I know the head-to-head -head data for the first two props wasn't super impressive, but in this one it is. But on the season as a whole, not great. 30% hit rate this year, 13 out of 43 games. So, Tasso, why do you like this prop? Why are you writing this? I want to show you guys something. One, one, one second, one quick thing. So, one of the many cool features of Outlier, Outlier is the sponsor of today's video and all the player prop parlay videos, all the data, all the stats you've seen in this video so far is from Outlier. Link in the description below. Seven-day free trial to check it out for yourself. Um, you can put specific filters to kind of look at specific scenarios. Um, so, for example here, I'm going to put this season DeJounte Murray without Trey Young. Because Trey Young is out. You see a lot of injuries for Atlanta right now. But Trey Young is the one we're most uh, most interested in here. So I'm going to put Trey Young here to see what the data looks like without him. And now when you look at this season, four games this year that DeJounte Murray has played without Trey Young, he has cashed this, uh, this over all four times. And if you look at the last 20 games, so the last, you know, you know, he's only been in Atlanta for a little while, so they haven't played a ton without each other. But the last 11 games... In Atlanta, without Trey Young, he's hit at 73%. Eight of 11 games he's played in Atlanta without Trey Young, he has cashed this over. So when Trey Young doesn't play, he tends to cash this number. And again, he already cashed this both times against Golden State last season with Trey Young playing, by the way. Both of those Warriors matchups were with Trey Young. But again, just this season alone, in four games without Trey Young, he's cashed this over. And you look at the defensive matchup here on the right side of the screen. You'll see Golden State, nothing crazy. They are bottom half of the league in rebounds allowed and assists allowed, two opposing point guards. But DeJounte Murray has been playing fantastic this season in terms of rebounds and stuff like that. You look at the 2023 season as a whole. We'll get out of this filter here real quick. And you'll scroll down and see what his re rebounding number in particular. He's averaging about five rebounds a game as a point guard. Not too bad. But again, his last few games, you look right here, 10 rebounds, nine rebounds, 
Only three rebounds, but he had 11 assists. You know, you go over here, 13 rebounds against San Antonio. So he, he grabs boards as a point guard. So really good prop here. Solid defensive matchup. Not the best, but solid. That is the third and final leg of today's parlay. All right, guys, moving my screen over to the left so you guys can see our ticket. There's our three-leg parlay there, plus 317 odds. This is a DraftKings exclusive. The the Like I said, the... Um, I believe it was the, yes, the Jalen Williams, no, sorry, the DeJounte Murray prop is available in other sportsbook with just that prop alone. If you want the parlay, typically, as always, it is DraftKings exclusive. Not a, not all that surprising to see FanDuel has nothing because FanDuel, I saw somebody in the comments yesterday say he hates FanDuel. It's the truth. When it comes to NBA player props, they just don't provide enough. Um, NFL, they're pretty good. Uh, but there it is, guys. Three-leg parlay plus 317 odds again. Uh, the trends in the data today were not the strongest, but... What I really love for some of these props is the defensive matchup, and there was enough data there, in my opinion, to prove that this parlay is bettable. I recommend it highly to you guys. Uh, I, I will be, of course, I always ride these parlays, um, so I will be riding. Comment in the below. I know I already told you to comment six. Comment if you're riding or if you're fading, whatever the case may be. I love hearing from you guys. Guys, that is it for me today. Again, one more time. I know you're probably tired of hearing it. Apologies. I know this video, the quality, not as good as, as it normally is. I promise you guys, it's just a one-time thing. The struggles of being a business owner, it happens. Um, but again, if you're in the Connecticut area, stop by. Say hello. Uh, Great Oak Pizza, Norwich, Connecticut. But guys, that is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, hope you're all winners.